All right, we have breaking news, a news alert for you. The Reserve Bank of India has announced that it is withdrawing 2,000 Indian rupee note from circulation. The Indian bank made the announcement just a short while ago. It says that the currency note will continue as a legal tender. The Reserve Bank has requested public to deposit their 2,000 rupee notes in the bank or get it exchanged for other denominations. The RBI has given time until the 30th of September to exchange deposit and uh, the currency notes. In its order, the RBI announced an exchange limit of 20,000 rupees at any time at any bank. This is to ensure operational convenience and to avoid disruption at all banks. Seven years ago, the Indian government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi banned 500 and 1,000 denomination notes in a historic late evening address. They were replaced by refreshed 500 as well as new 2,000 rupee notes. Okay, that was breaking news, a news alert for you. Uh, We are going to discuss a little more about what this means. I believe we do have a guest with us. Okay, and we will have that guest with us very shortly. Uh, We're giving you breaking news, and if you're just joining us, we learned that the Reserve Bank of India has announced that it's withdrawing 2,000 Indian rupee notes from circulation. Uh, This is similar to about seven years ago. You may recall that the Indian government under Prime Minister Modi banned 500 and 1,000 denomination notes. Uh, This was in a historic late-night address. At that time, they were replaced by refreshed 500 as well as new 2000 rupee notes. So what does this mean for you? Why is this important? And how will this change, if anything, in the banking sector? All right, we have a guest with us right now to make sense of all of this. Uh, Mr. Baliga, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, So can you talk about this for some of us that don't understand the significance of the trade in notes. We've seen it before, but this is important when it comes to India's rupee. Uh, Yeah, I mean, here the announcement has come that uh, 2,000 rupee notes have been withdrawn, but it, it still continues to be a legal tender till 30th September 2023. Which means that uh, you can either have it exchanged at the bank, I think they have a limit of 20,000 per transaction, or it can still be used in trade till 30th September. No one can refuse to accept a 2000 rupee note uh, till 30th September. So I really don't see a major disruption as such what we saw in 2016. Because if you see in the last couple of years, mm-hmm. especially in tier one and tier two cities and towns in India, most of the people are shifted to digital payments. So unless someone is holding two 2,000 rupee notes, I really don't see life getting disrupted like the way we saw in 2016. So uh, people have until September 30th. Uh, and can you tell us why do you think this move was made? Uh, see, uh, I mean, the util- utility of 2,000 rupee notes possibly was there, uh, I mean, immediately post the demonetization, uh, which we had in 2016. Uh, but uh, now, uh, like, since people have shifted mostly to digital payments, the need of a 2,000 rupee denomination note is not really there. And what has been noticed in the last, uh, I mean, five years since uh, we have seen this uh, note being there, is that the people are using this more for holding. And uh, I mean, typically, whenever uh, there have been cash movements, uh, especially in the election season, it, it, it's been most more, more of the 2,000 rupee notes which have come out. So I think this action has been taken to ensure that the cash movement is uh, curtailed before the next election season. Because uh, 2024 is going to be a general election in India. So I think uh, this could possibly could be uh, the reason why the action was taken now. Independent market analyst Ambarish Baliga, thank you so much for your analysis and for joining us on We On to talk about this developing and breaking news story.